you everybody for coming to the Aaron Torres podcast YouTube page. If you could do me a quick favor, see that little subscribe button at the bottom of your screen, go ahead, click that subscribe button really does help our channel grow our audience grow. And I really do appreciate it more than, you know, so click that subscribe button, appreciate your support. Now here's the video that you came here for from the Michigan perspective. Listen, we just talked about all the stats, all the, this, all the, that, how they won the game. Very briefly, let me just give credit where it's due, man. What Michigan did on Saturday, but more importantly, what Michigan did over the course of this entire season, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. And I said it from the beginning. Michigan was my preseason pick to win the national championship because they have dealt with so much adversity over the last couple of years, most notably Jim Harbaugh interviewing for multiple head coaching jobs through the years. And so I bring it up because think about everything that that group at Michigan has had to overcome just this year. You understand they're 12-0 and 0 right now. You understand that six of their games, the head coach wasn't there. Ohio State can't beat Michigan with Ryan Day. Michigan went 6-0 and 0 without Jim Harbaugh. And in two of the biggest games of the year, three of the biggest games really, if you include Maryland, beyond that, think about everything. Think about the fact that they flew to Penn State not knowing if Jim Harbaugh was going to be their coach. They woke up against Penn State not knowing if they were if he was going to be the coach because there was the injunction process. Then you spend all week preparing for Maryland not knowing if Jim Harbaugh is going to be the coach before finally on Thursday you find out that in fact that he is. So I give this group of guys so much credit. Nothing has phased them. They had nothing to do with the alleged sign stealing. They had nothing to do with the Big Ten suspension. They had nothing to do with what their coaching staff did. But stuff just rolls off their shoulders and they just get ready for the next one. Beyond that, really quickly, you know who really deserves credit? Sharon Moore, man. First of all, th- what he was thrown into against Penn State, we talked about it then. Day of the game, doesn't know if he's the head coach or just the play caller. Comes out, gets the win. Maryland was a struggle. And against Michigan's biggest rival in the biggest moment, he not only got the win, he was the more fearless, aggressive coach. While calling plays, while having to be a head coach. It was unbelievable. That guy deserves so much credit. I'd say he deserves a head coaching job. But I think he's probably going to end up replacing Jim Harbaugh whenever Jim Harbaugh leaves. And finally, let me say this about Jim Harbaugh. Um, I think Jim Harbaugh, in my opinion, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if his desire, all the reports are that his desire is to be an NFL head coach, to win a Super Bowl, to do what his his brother accomplished, uh, to, to get that ultimate prize. If I was Jim Harbaugh, I'd have a really hard time leaving Michigan right now. Now, admittedly, We don't know what's coming from the NCAA. We don't know if a suspension is coming. We don't know if scholarship productions are coming. But if I was, if I was Jim Harbaugh, you spent, this is now year what, year nine, year eight, whatever. It took this long to take control of the rivalry. You own the rivalry and beyond owning the rivalry. I think you're in Ryan Day's head. I think Ryan Day is scared to death of Jim Harbaugh and Michigan and the consequences that come with losing that game. Again, I just talked about it a minute ago. That's why I picked Michigan, because I knew Ryan Day would coach tight, because I knew that everybody expected him to win, and I knew in the back of his head what would be going through his mind if they ended up losing that game. And so I just bring it up to say, if I'm Jim Harbaugh, I don't, like, I'm not scared of Ohio State anymore. They're a great program. They're always going to have great players, but you own Ryan Day. So if I'm Jim Harbaugh, why am I leaving for the NFL? It took all this time to get complete control of this conference. And I'll take it a step further. You know what I truly believe? And I tweeted this out and some people will disagree with me. I truly believe in my heart of hearts in the expanded new Big Ten. I don't think Ohio State's the biggest threat anymore to you. I actually think it's Oregon and Dan Lanning. Dan Lanning's a dog. And the one thing you could say about Dan Lanning, he ain't afraid of nothing. He went for it on fourth down against Washington. Didn't apologize for it after the game, wasn't afraid, didn't spend weeks sulking in the corner, had his team come out, play their best football after that game. He's fearless. He's recruiting his butt off. The collective, you know, is set up good. I just bring it up to say, I I think Dan Lanning is more of a threat to Jim Harbaugh in Michigan over the next five, six years than Ohio State is. Not saying Ohio State won't have good teams. Not saying in a 12-team playoff era that Ohio State isn't going to get in probably every single year. But in terms of teams that are going to look you in the eye, and not back down, it's probably more Oregon than it is Ohio State. I think Ohio State is shook beyond belief. I think the entire core of that organization and of that program is shook beyond belief. 
So Jim Harbaugh, enjoy the victory. I know, listen, unfortunately, I saw Jim Harbaugh was in the hospital with Zach Zinter after the game. But credit to Michigan, third straight win. Enjoy every minute of it. Go take care of Iowa in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, and we'll see. Obviously, uh, you know, there, there's a playoff monkey. You got to get off your back. We'll see if you can do that. We'll see who you're playing. We still don't have that decided. So there's still a lot left.